Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Thursday, April 6th, 2023. Let's find out what's going on on the Forex calendar today. Some data had been published overnight and those data are the Kaixin manufacturing PMI from China and interest rate decision from uh, India. As you can see, the um, Reserve Bank of India decided to keep the interest rate at the level of 6.5%. More of the very important data for today um, are um, those data are still scheduled, uh, basically from the UK in form of the construction PMI. This data is scheduled at 10.30. Initial jobless claims from the USA are scheduled for release at half past two. And then, of course, we got some data from the Canada Employment Change and IVPMI. Uh, employment Change is scheduled for release at half past two and IVPMI at four o'clock. So, important data in the calendar are present. So please stay focused, stay vigilant. We want to see what will be the outcome of this news release. Now, let's find out what's going on on the Forex market and we are going to start with majors. So the Euro dollar will be first. Euro dollar for our chart. Um, um, this is uh, Euro dollar daily chart. Uh, basically, uh, why I'm starting with the daily chart because I would like to show you guys something which is uh, deeply uh, concerning is that the 50 and 100 days moving average are getting closer uh, to each other, which means that the um, the change um, of the prices is not that much uh, bigger anymore. For quite some time, despite this recent s uh, slide to the upside, uh, the market has not seen any kind of a nice movement nice breakout uh, to the upside since the low made in the middle of the march so it's been over um, three weeks over uh, the last weeks uh, so we now have to wait for the market to rally rally higher otherwise these two um, moving averages daily moving averages we get so close that of course uh, there might be some kind of a cross and the cross might be to the downside bearish engulfing pattern made yesterday on a daily time frame chart might indicate that this rally to the upward has been completed. As you can see, the high of this uh, high of this rally has been uh, has been made at the level of 1.0974. So uh, this level here, and of course. Uh, there is still a possibility for the market to do the bullish sandwich as it was here, but it looks like the uh, the bulls are now tired with this upside movement, and then might uh, um, it might result in another wave to the downside or the pullback extension. So let's go back to the four-hour chart. As you can see, big downside movement, big downside movement here on the. Uh, on the uh, for our chart this candle says it all we have the long shadow from the upside nothing is going on nothing is going on just the inside bars and then bang on big movement uh, to the downside right now we are basically uh, at the very same level we started the yesterday uh, trading uh, trading so uh, right now the 50 periods moving average and the 100 periods moving average are the best dynamic technical support support um, levels that we can get the other one is 1.04884 this is the low from the uh, 4th of the april and let me just uh, point out this low of course from the april 3rd uh, 1.07889 uh, so now uh, it looks like the neutral momentum doesn't help the bulls to rally higher most likely we will see a deeper pullback in the euro dollar What's going on on gold? Um, we, we've been talking about the gold market for quite some time. We analyze this market on a daily time frame chart. This time, let's take a look at the uh, four hour chart. What do we have here is a tweezer top and a very, uh, very interesting uh, situation. Maybe some kind of a short term profit taking is right now taking 
a place because as you can see the recent push to the upside was made in five ways so we have the wave one we have the wave two we have the wave three wave four and wave five so our last impulsive wave to the downside has been done now it's time for the market to make the correction or a pullback to the downside so what is going on here uh, we might we might see some kind of a movement um, uh, in the form of the correction towards this level 2002 uh, dollars so that's the technical support the other short term technical support is located um, around the level of uh, 1987 that's a very nice uh, technical support and of course we cannot forget about this level here 1943 dollars on the four hour the chart uh, for our chart uh, time frame the uh, market conditions were very very uh, overbought we can say extremely overbought which is why the twizzle top was done and the market uh, is now doing the uh, correction so that perfectly aligns with the situation when you have a uh, five ways to the upside the fifth wave is extremely overbought which is why we need some kind of a down, mo down movement currently the momentum is at the level of 59 points so it's still strong it's still positive nevertheless there's a clear movement to the downside in the momentum so we shouldn't expect any kind of um, uptrend continuation until this movement to the downside is completed supports are on the uh, on the chart us dollar to the japanese yen let's take a look what's going on on this uh, market so what do we have here definitely we have ended the um, correction to the upside from the lows of uh, 129.66 we traveled uh, towards the uh, one of the levels uh, which is uh, the uh, important level for that uh, uh, for the resistance 133.77 if we zoom out we can clearly see that this rally has ended with a pin bar the pin bar is here kind of a shooting star ish uh, pin bar nevertheless it's still um, the pin bar made during the bearish divergence so it tells us that we need a uh, the bearish decline to the downside and the bearish decline what is uh, kind of interesting was made using five waves so we got this five way structure to the downside uh, impulsive wave has been made uh, so right now maybe some sort of the pullback is uh, being expected uh, probably towards the level of one point uh, 132.22 uh, and maybe towards this cross of this uh, 50 and 100 periods moving averages on the 4 hour chart around 132.06 so nothing wrong with the with the test of this of the zone here and then reversal back uh, to the downside towards the uh, first there is one more level here 100 and um, 130.42 which is the uh, local technical support and then the swing low at 129.66 uh, so that's the situation on the uh, on the US dollar to Japanese yen five ways down correction ABC to the upside and then another five ways down are uh, being uh, expected in this uh, in this uh, market and um, last but not least let's just uh, take a look at the crude oil the crude oil opened with a gap the gap was made between the levels of 75.71 towards the 80 uh, 81.66 from from highs yeah so local low uh, local lower was made here uh, 79 uh, dollars per barrel and uh, we still have this this high located at 81.66 and since then we've been moving in this very very narrow zone of course we need to uh, take into the account the bullish cross okay on the four hour chart so 50 periods moving average crosses the 100 periods moving average which is bullish of course but the current uh, price levels are now extremely overbought of course so it is very interesting to see whether the uh, best will try to uh, fill up this gap let me just point out the highs of the of the gap there you go 
will the bears will fill up this uh, this gap so far they are not um, running to, for the upside they are not doing any kind of a uptrend extension mm, and the, the, they are still trading inside of the range so please stay focused for a possible breakout to the downside in order to cover this this gap on the crude oil that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time so take care and bye bye